So currently, Divi doesn't allow you to add a gradient and an overlay into your hero banner if you use a video as a background. But that works in an image background, but if it is a video, um, you cannot do that in the builder. Now, I'm going to teach you how you can add a gradient on the video even though it's not possible so that's why you're seeing this screen because i will show you how did i come up with this gradient and overlay background in the video hero banner okay so i'm going to enable this visual builder and we will add a row in here and then by the way there's two options for you to add a gradient into your video background and i'll show you the process so this is the step one so video background i'm going to add a row um let me just use an accordion as an example and in here no i don't want not accordion but I, i'll just copy this one so we really have a similar like almost similar design so let me just remove that accordion there i'm gonna add and um try to add a few more oh i'm gonna add a little bit of um padding on it so if you click this blue gear icon there and you go to the background and go to the um video plus add to click the insert url you could use a video you could use a um youtube or you can use an mp4 so let's just use a, an mp4 for now and update so as you can see here by default there's no any gradient or even if we add a gradient in here and click this one it doesn't work it, it will not work it, it only i mean this gradient in here only works if you use a image background and since we want to use a video background we need to come up with a workaround okay so what's the workaround so the first way or the first method i'm going to show you is perfect if you will be only using this hero video background at once so if you will only use this one in one page then use this first method Okay, so the first method is you go to the advanced tab, go to the custom CSS, and you need to put this code in here. So as you can see, there's already a um, like a gradient background in it. Okay, if you don't want to have like a gradient thing, instead of using a linear gradient, um, let me just remove this part. And again, you can always um, change or you can always um, modify the code. And I'm going to put uh, an article version in this in case you want to have it so if you want to grab the, the code in here so um let me just remove this one and then i'll add a background um maybe red so you can see here and if you want to add like a facity of 50 percent so you see that like there is a grayish opacity over there going on but i i prefer to have a gradient um effect so you can always use that at the same time um if you want to change the color to a different one like to match into your branding then you can always play around with the color selection in dv again i'm going to put the um code in here so that is the second method the first method rather now let's jump in in the second method and when you should be using the second method okay second method works if you have a lot of video hero banner if you have a lot of this kind of design and you want to put it in different pages then you need to declare a global css and um, like instead of isolating or or putting the code into uh on this specific section you need to come up with a global declaration okay and then um in order for the dv or the website um read that code um, we need to tie in a class so let's say i'm going to call that hero overlay you can use different naming convention you prefer it really doesn't matter so if you go into the custom css and go to the before section and you click this question mark in here it says that this before is um i mean 
they are targeting i mean if you if you put some code in here it will be targeted i mean this css class will be targeted this etpb et underscore pb underscore section so we, we need to declare that into our um into the global css section so you jump back to the wordpress website you go to the wp um, admin and go to the dv theme options okay and then you need to go over under at the bottom part called custom css and you can always use a child theme i would highly suggest that you use a child theme but the purpose of but for the purpose of this presentation, let's just stick on the um, like the basic stuff, okay? So first is go to the advanced tab and see what is the CSS class or the hero, the class that you um, declare in here. So the class I declared is called hero um, hyphen overlay. So I'm going to put in um, period hero hyphen overlay by the way if you are declaring a class um, you shouldn't be putting a, uh, a dot there or a period there but when you declare something in the custom css there should be a period if it is an id you shouldn't be putting an id here i mean okay hero but in here you should put something like that a number sign so that's the difference okay so let me just remove this one because you can you should be only picking one either id or a class so as much as possible avoid using id if you can use class then that's good i mean id is just your um last resources okay now let's jump into the before sections in here so we need to tie this up into the custom css that we declared so we put in et underscore What's the name of that underscore pb underscore section and then we are declaring not just the css itself but also the before before state the the pseudo state okay so before and then we'll put in our code and update and then let's see it let's refresh let's see if that will work and as you can see here, it's already, I mean, the gradient thing already works. So you can always use that, even though I have a different page, for example. So let me just open, let's jump into the contact page as an example. So if I um, click this one, enable the visual builder, and then I'll add something like in here, and then I'll add a background in here. Um, yeah this part yeah and i add a video and then i'll add something like here on the tab section um, i'm gonna add a so-called hero overlay and then if i refresh this one oh it's not working prop uh yeah i think because of the this is, is a different section i believe let me just open this one let's see if i think we are using a different sections in here so if i enable that hero background this one um, we put in hero overlay and if we go into the before section you'll see that it is an etpb column not an etpb underscore so what you can do in here is just you can add another um, thing like oh sorry so we can add something like this hero underscore hyphen overlay and then etpb column we update that and then we update this one update and then if we refresh that just double check it visual exit builder You'll see that it's already added now the difference between like i'm not i'm not really so particular on this part because i don't want to add a hero banner and the here uh, video background in the contact page but um i just want to point out that this green thing is the column and then these are um this one the blue row is the section that's why we declare a different um 
a different classes in here so if your design is just something like this like um, row if you use a blue one and you use it like if you use the background inside the blue section then I mean this code should work then if you put something like here hero overlay so you see it's already updated so it's just a matter of checking in here if you go into the question mark what is the class that you are targeting etpb section and um etpb row are different and even here like even this one um like this one this is ETPB column, I believe. So ETPB column is also different. So it's a, just a matter of really targeting the appropriate class. If you are not targeting the right class, then the CSS class that you declared in a global section shouldn't be, will not, you, I mean, it, it will not be reflected. You will not see the changes. So that's it, guys. I hope um, you find it valuable. Comment down below if you have any question or concern. And again, I'm going to create an article version of this so you can copy the code that I put in on this website. Thank you and have a great day.